All right, to reach the first location, we are going to start from the giant crow tube that sticks up out of the water. And from here, we are going to head about half of a notch to the right of northeast until we reach the northeastern mushroom forest. Now going here, all you're going to want to bring is a Seamoth with a Mark 1 Death Module as well as Perimeter Defense. And you're also going to want to bring a Stasis Rifle and a Sea Glide. Now in terms of threats, you're only going to run into Bone Sharks in the Mushroom Forest. And they're not really in big numbers, so they aren't too, too dangerous. And they're not really that hard to deal with. All you need to do is hit them with Perimeter Defense, avoid them, or you can hit them with a Stasis Rifle. And be sure not to shine any lights on them because that will draw their attention like almost immediately. Now in the Northeastern Mushroom Forest, Although it's not, it doesn't like spawn in the forest, there's a chance that a reaper from the crash zone can wander into the mushroom forest. It'll usually, it'll usually go in and then it'll go away, but if it does wander into the mushroom forest, you'll probably hear it as it gets closer and closer, so just be, be on the lookout for that. That's what I, that's why I told you to bring your stasis rifle and perimeter defense, because if it does come near you, you can use perimeter defense to get it away from you, or if you're outside of your Z-Moth, you can hit it with a stasis rifle to give yourself time to run away. But we are now at the Mushroom Forest, and once you are here, you can just start looking around on the seafloor or a bridge fragment. If you don't find fragments at one spot, just don't panic. Don't panic or freak out, because that's why I'm showing you. That's why I'm going to show you multiple spots to ensure that you can find all the fragments that you are looking for. Oh, there's one right there. Uh, I found another fragment, I think. Yes, that is one. Okay, no, never mind. There's three. One right here. And then we got one right here. So with that, let's go to the next location. All right, to reach the next location, we are going to start from the giant quote to the six up under the water again. We are going to head about half of a notch to the right of northwest until we reach the northwestern mushroom forest. Now, similar to the other mushroom forest I just showed you, you're going to bring a sea moth with a Mark I or Mark II depth module. You're also going to want perimeter defense and a sea glide. You're not going to need your stasis right here because there's no chance of a reaper wandering into the biome so the only threat that you're going to run into here primarily are bone sharks and they're the same as they were at the last spot so they are in smaller numbers you can use perimeter defense against them to ward them off or you can freeze them with your stasis rifle or you can simply run away from them on a sea glide the other potential threats that could be in this biome are crab squids but they only really hang around the right like the far far right side of the biome where the blood kelp zone is. So as long as you stay away from that area, you'll be, you'll be okay. But if you do happen to run into a crab squid, it can disable your vehicle. So you're gonna wanna stay pretty far away from it if, if possible. And if it does start to get close to you, try to hit it with perimeter defense as soon as you can, because that'll make it run away instantly and it won't like shoot off its little EMP attack. All right, we are at the mushroom forest. And just like last time, we're going to look around on the sea floor for bridge fragments. All right, so we got one fragment so far. All right, I got another fragment here. So we got two fragments so far. Okay, we got a third fragment here. So yeah, we only found three fragments here, but even even so that is still enough to get the full blueprint for that. Let's go on to the next place. All right, and then to reach the next location, we are going to start from the giant crow tube that sticks up out of the water again. And from here, we are going to head about half of a notch to the right of Southeast or just behind the Aurora's engines or to the right, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to head in that direction until we reach the crash zone trench. So going here, you're going to 100% want a Seamoth with a Mark 1 depth module and perimeter defense, most definitely. You're also going to want to bring a Sea Glide and a Stasis Rifle. And the biggest threat and the only threat that you're going to run into here are Reaper Leviathans, which I'm sure you probably already know about. So they can do some pretty Pretty large damage to you, dang near as to kill you if you're not in a vehicle. So the best thing you can do is use perimeter defense against them to get them to run away from you. And if you're outside of your vehicle, we can already hear them right now. If you're not in your vehicle and they start coming after you, then you got, or you can use a stasis rifle to freeze one and give yourself time to run away. I am not seeing any fragments here, unfortunately. It was a super unlucky spot for me because absolutely nothing spawned here in my game. No fragments, no nothing. Just a whole bunch of metal salvage. And with that, let's go on to the next spot and the last spot. All right, and to reach the very last spot, we are going to start from the giant core to the six up out of the water one last time. And from here, we are going to head about two, two and a half notches to the right of southwest until we reach the sea treaders path. Now going here, you're going to want to bring a Seamoth with a Mark II depth module because it is a little deeper. You're also going to want to bring perimeter defense, a stasis rifle. No, 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 no. Don't bring a stasis rifle. Bring a knife. 
a knife, and a sea glide. Sorry. The only real threat that you're gonna run into here are warpers, which can teleport you out of your sea moth or teleport you while you're swimming around. So if they do teleport you out of your sea moth, you can either attack them with a knife till they take enough damage to warp away, or you can simply outrun them on the sea glide because they can't really catch up to you if you're in a sea, on a sea glide. And if you're if you see one and you're on your you're on your you're in your sea moth, you can hit it with perimeter defense if you're fast enough, and that'll make it teleport away instantly. Now, as you get closer to the sea treader's path and you get to this little biome, like when everything starts to turn blue, if you look to your left, you should eventually see like this giant wreck on your left. And this giant wreck is a good indicator that you're heading in the right direction because it is technically in the sea treader's path biome. And there's a warp right there. So yeah, the wreck is a good indicator that you're on the right path. All right, now once you get, once you get past this like super clear slash open area you should see like this cliff and it should just drop off like this once you get to this cliff you're going to want to head straight down and sort of like hug the cliff all the way down to the bottom and you don't want to keep going forward because if you keep going forward there's nothing in front of you and you're going to you're going to run into the void and you don't want to run into that biome because there are ghost leviathans in there so when you get to this giant cliff you just want to go you're going to want to head straight down and you're going to end up on the sea treader's path Go straight down, and then whole area should be flat, and you should see some sea shredders walking around. You can start looking around for the bridge fragments, and they typically spawn like in this in the grass. They never they don't really spawn like out in this little flat area. They sort of spawn off to the side. So keep your eye on those areas in the grass as you're looking around. All right, and unfortunately, I was unlucky when it came to this spot as well because I'm not seeing any bridge fragments here either. So I was only really able to find bridge fragments at both the mushroom forests. So those were the best spots for me. Either way, I, I just recommend you check every spot until you're able to find, like just go down the list one by one by one until you're able to find all the bridge fragments that you are looking for. Because they can spawn in all these places. That is all I have for y'all, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.